guys, it's Alexa from Alexa Loves Books and this is my first vlog in a really long time. I can't even remember when the last one was. But um, hi! I decided to do a vlog today because it's a special week. Um, it's post BEA week and I'm kind of having a BEA hangover. See, I'm so tired I was almost going to say hungover. But anyway, uh, yeah, BEA was a lot of fun. It was also really tiring and I still have not recovered from that. Um, I think the best part for me was getting to talk to the people who work for the different publishers, getting to meet and fangirl over my favorite authors, and also getting a chance to meet my blog friends in real life. If ever you come to NYC, by the way, please, please, please let me know. It's going to be so much fun to arrange a meetup or something like that, and I'm always up for that. Uh, without further ado, here are the five books that I am the most excited about that I picked up at BEA. The first one, I'm sure you guys are going to recognize it because I have talked about it constantly since I picked it up at BEA. It's a sequel, and it's a sequel for one of my favorite series, and it is Crown of Midnight by Sarah J. Maas. I have been anticipating this book since last year, since I first read Throne of Glass, and you guys, I've already read it. It's incredible. Incredible. I adore Sarah, but her writing has gotten even better from the first one, and it's just, oh, this story just keeps getting better. And you guys, I totally swoon over Kale. Everyone knows that, so yeah. You guys should definitely check out the series if you haven't yet, and if you have read Throne of Glass, I tell you guys, this is going to be a book that blows your mind. The second of the books that I picked up at BEA that I'm excited about is also a sequel. It is Never Fade by Alexander Bracken, which is the sequel to The Darkest Minds. The Darkest Minds is one of the books that I read last year that completely blew me away and I was surprised by how much I liked it. And I am looking forward to seeing what happens in the sequel. And this cover is gorgeous, guys. I want to know what happens to Ruby and the others and I can't wait. There is also another sequel in this stack of books, and it is by one of my all-time favorite authors, uh, Maggie Stivewater, and it is The Dream Thieves, which is the sequel to The Raven Boys. I am super excited about this book, not only because Maggie has gorgeous writing, but because it's about Ronan, and I love Ronan. He was my favorite Raven Boy in the first book, so yes, I'm excited for this. Uh, the fourth book that I picked up a BA that I'm super excited about is co-written by two authors. It is, ooh, that bookmark. It is These Broken Stars by Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner. I hope I said that right. Uh, first of all, this cover is really pretty. And second of all, it sounds like such a good book. I honestly, when I first read what it was about, I was very curious about it, so I'm glad I have it, and I was able to meet them. And the last of the five books that I'm super excited about from BAA is Starry Nights by Daisy Whitney. I have not read anything by her yet, but I have heard phenomenal things about her writing. Plus, this cover is very me. I mean, it's romance, and it's got the Eiffel Tower, so those are two things that I really like. I'm really looking forward to this one. I've heard that it's pretty good. A lot of my friends have actually already read it, so I can't wait. So those were the five books that I picked up at BEA that I'm really, really excited about uh, among all of the books that I got. Um, I want to know what's your favorite part of BEA if you went, and which books are you excited about if you didn't. Bye guys, I hope I do another vlog soon.